Have you been stuck at the dreaded GMAT quant plateau? You've been grinding for weeks, maybe months. You've done the drills, watched the videos, even made peace with probability and combinatorics. And yet, Q78, Q79, maybe on a good day Q80. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. Countless GMAT assassins have faced this exact battle, but here's the good news. There's a way to break through. In this video, I'm going to share powerful, battle-tested strategies used by top GMAT performers on GMAT Club. These are not just random tips. They are game-changing techniques proven to catapult scores beyond Q85. First, let's precisely diagnose what's holding you back. You know your math fundamentals and the GMAT format, like the back of your hand, but certain sneaky issues keep dragging your score down. 1. Silly mistakes under pressure, the classic, I knew it, but I panicked scene. These slip-ups are common but costly. 2. Overcomplicating problems. If you're using calculus to solve a basic arithmetic problem, we found your issue. 3. Poor time management. Spending 10 minutes on one tricky probability or combinatorics question while the clock laughs at you. Yep, that's a red flag. 4. Uncertain concepts. Those subtle, sneaky topics that make you second guess and waste precious minutes. Now let's talk about what not to do. These are the classic traps most students fall into at this stage. 1. Obsessing over advanced questions. The ROI of this kind of prep is small. 2. Taking too many practice tests without review. That's like repeatedly checking your thermometer but never taking medicine. Great if you enjoy frustration, not so great for improvement. 3. Ignoring time management during practice. Practicing without timing is like cooking without tasting. You'll only know something went wrong when it's too late. 4. Relying exclusively on official guides without a plan. The OG is fantastic, but it's not a guidebook. It's a question bank. It gives you an idea of what to expect, but the value comes in when you practice after you have covered the basics and study materials. 5. Not systematically addressing mistakes. Ignoring mistakes and hoping they'll vanish is like ignoring unpaid bills. They just get worse. Okay, enough of the don'ts. Here is how to fix this. 1. Master the basics. Like, really master them. Solve easy equations in arithmetic in 30 seconds flat. It's like brushing your teeth. You shouldn't need a tutorial every time. 2. Choose the simplest path. Most GMAT questions have straightforward methods. Simpler is always smarter. Know multiple ways to solve questions efficiently. 3. Target your weaknesses with specialized, concept-focused practice. Use GMAT Club Question Bank to filter questions by tags and difficulty. Treat your prep like a sniper mission, not like spray and pray. 4. Maintain an error log. Log your mistakes diligently. If you repeat the same mistake twice, reteach yourself. 5. Leverage GMAT Club to tackle challenging questions. GMAT Club tests, the math book PDF, even my huge question collection. These are your valuable weapons. Use them optimally. 6. Balance speed and accuracy. Prioritize accuracy first, then build your speed. Here's how you do it practically. Tackle the last 50 OG questions, 10 at a time, until you consistently hit 9 out of 10. Only then switch to timed practice. You absolutely can break through the Q78 barrier. Don't let a temporary plateau define your GMAT journey. Stick to these strategies and you won't just beat your score plateau, you'll absolutely dominate the GMAT quant section. Visit gmatclub.com for more powerful strategies like these and join thousands of successful test takers.